Hi, and welcome to the third video of the Basics for Team Members track. In this video, we'll explore adding and updating documents. So let's start by hovering over the Quick Post Locator and then selecting the Documents Entity. From the Document list, ensure the correct project is selected and then click on the Add Document icon. From the Document Add page, enter the title of the document and then the description. Choose the document and double click on the document. I just want to focus your attention on three things at this point. The maximum of 8 megabytes just applies to the per document size. So there is no limit on the amount of documents that you can upload to PPO. You can also upload zip documents and you can upload any format of document except for an EXE file. Now select the correct document type as well as the status. Once happy, click on the Submit Document icon. The Document View page will now show you all the information that you've just captured for this document. Now let's assume you want to keep all your meeting minutes of the project. So these are the meeting minutes of the 7th of July. Now next week you have another meeting and you've updated those meeting minutes and you want to also upload them to PPO. So what would you do? Would you now add a new meeting minute? Or would you edit this document and upload the latest meeting minutes? So yes, we would edit it. So we would click on Edit Document, choose the new file, note that the title, description and type and status are still intact. So I'm just choosing the new file. There's the new one from the 14th of July. Double click and now all I need to do is submit the document. You will now see that the previous version of the meeting minutes is now stored in the document history and the latest meeting minutes is now shown at the top. Now if you want to see what this document looks like you can do that in three ways. You can either click on the physical file as I'm doing now and it asks you to open, save or cancel. You can then also click on the download latest version icon. It will also ask you to open, save or cancel. Or you can use the mail document to me option. And PPO will then send this document to you via email. And lastly, I want to show you how to link your documents to the other entities in PPO. Now whether it's a task or issue a risk, and I'm just going to use the task as an example. So I'm going to access my home page again. From my home page, click on a task, click on edit task, and right at the bottom of the page is the section where the documents can be linked. You will notice two paper clips, this blue one, and every time I click on it, you will see a new record or a new line is added. So what does that tell you? You can link as many documents as you want. The other paper clips is the linked document or the unlinked document option. So if I want to link a document, I simply click on the link document icon and the document list for the particular project where this task is loaded on opens. So now all I need to do is I click on that document and then I'll see the icon that says link document. You will then see that that document has been linked here at the bottom. Now all I need to do still is go and submit this task. How would I know if a document is linked to a task or an issue or a risk? Now, if you go to the bottom, you will see it under the linked documents heading, or if you return to your home page or a task list in this example, you will notice this blue paper clip on the right hand side which shows you that a document is linked. You will also notice the little white block appearing with the title of the document. If you want to then see it, click on that title, download the document, and then you have access to the required information. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you learned a lot about adding and updating documents. Learn more about PPO today by visiting us at projectportfoliooffice.com. PPO, your award-winning project management solution.